Hi, continuing with rate. There are really three questions that you could be asked with an experimental data uh, rate, rate question, rate law. Um, here's what it is. First thing that they'll ask you is what's the rate law? What's the rate equation? So I have two videos on that. You can do it mathematically or you can do mental math looking at it by inspection. Watch those two videos. This is what we came up with. When methyl acetate reacts with hydroxide, here's the rate law. Uh, rate equals K times the concentration of um, methyl acetate to the first order times the concentration of hydroxide to the first order. Second question that they'll ask is what's the rate constant and its unit? Um, so watch that video on how to find the value of the rate constant. So we did that. We came up with that the rate constant is 0.136 per molarity times second. Okay, here's the third question. They'll give you some new conditions and they'll say, given these new conditions, what's the new rate? You have to find a new rate. Um, so in this example, it says find the rate if methyl acetate equals the concentration of hydroxide, which is 0.02 molar. Um, again, because we did the hard work and we found that rate law, this is pretty easy. All you have to do is plug in all your values and you have one unknown. The one unknown is rate. We have the rate constant, we found that. Um, they gave us the concentration of um, the methyl acetate and the concentration of the hydroxide and we have our orders. We have the M and the N. Um, so now all we do is plug everything in. Rate will equal K, which is 0.136 molarity. Oh, excuse me. I'm gonna go ahead and write it underneath um, it's going to be molarity times second, a little bit easier, I think, to see the math, times the concentration of methyl acetate, it's right here, 0 0.20 molar, times the concentration of hydroxide, which is also 0 0.20 molar. So look at our units. Molarity cancels there. I have a molarity per second left. Yep, that's the unit for rate. Um, so now we just multiply everything, 0.136 times 0.2 times 0.2, and we are going to get 0 0.00544, and again, that unit right there, molarity per second, and that is our unit for rate. And then you're done. There you're done. Um, so in order to find a new rate, you need to have the full rate law. You can determine that from the experiment. You need to have the value of K, but then it's easy. Just plug everything in. Your one unknown is going to be right. Okay, good job. Have a nice day. Thank you.